morning everybody so i know i'm looking a hot mess right now but in this video i am going to be showing you guys what i eat in a day once again but more specifically what i eat in a work day the last video that i made that was on a friday and usually i'm off on friday so i kind of just like go with the flow type of thing whatever feels right which i mean i do that anyway but in the work week it's just specific just because i don't have that much wiggle room to like you know if i'm hungry i just go eat whatever i want like i gotta eat what i packed for lunch so i'm gonna be showing you guys that and like all the in-between snacks because i do eat some snacks um during the work day just to like so i don't be hungry and stuff by the time it's time for me to eat my lunch but yeah guys i'm gonna be showing you guys what i eat in a day work day i guess so stay tuned so now i'm gonna let this waffle maker get heated up and I'm gonna put cinnamon rolls in the waffle maker and it's gonna be life changing so it just beeped that means it's ready okay so now that my uh, waffle maker is ready I'm gonna spray it with this mazzola no stick uh, corn oil spray and I'm just gonna spray it lightly And then I'm just gonna make sure I close this and turn it. And then this thing is gonna let me know when it is ready. It doesn't take a long time. I think it's supposed to beep or something. I don't know, but yesterday I just opened it like after about a couple minutes when I felt like it was ready. So now that that's cooking, I'm going to show you guys how I make my eggs. And this is going to be without the hash brown. So I get my bowl. And of course, I take two eggs. I just This is how I make my eggs when I'm just making eggs alone. Make sure you don't get any shells in there. And if you do, you better pick them out, girl. Okay, so those are the eggs. Now I'm gonna take my salt and pepper. This is Himalayan salt, by the way. And then I'm gonna scramble them just like this in like a whipping motion. This definitely makes a difference on how my eggs come out. My grandma told me this. And like my eggs have just been fire ever since. So I don't want to put, I don't want to put my eggs on until I know that. Um, I don't want to put my eggs on until I know that my little cinnamon buns are ready because. I want everything to be hot. So now I'm going to show you guys what my snacks be looking like. And while you're waiting on the cinnamon rolls and the waffle maker, you wanna make sure that your pan for the eggs is already heating up and hot with your olive oil in it. This is what mine looks like. I probably have it a little too high. Make sure the stove is heating up with your pan just so that by the time your waffle slash cinnamon roll is done you can just put your eggs in and the eggs are going to take five seconds to make. all right so these are those look done but my recommendation would be if uh just to check when you take them off is to like try to break them up and t see if the middle is like kind of gooey because if so they're not done show you guys how um, or one of my favorite snacks to take especially during the summertime which is watermelon so if y'all watched my last video you know that I cut up some watermelon 
And so I'm gonna take some of that watermelon with me to work. Definitely a good way to stay hydrated and to suppress your appetite because it um, it's a great appetite suppressant for those trying to lose weight because of the, the water content. It's so heavy in water content. So, so we got our lunch. I didn't even show you guys what my lunch looks like. So this is my lunch. It's a macaroni tuna salad. I don't know why I look so weird and disgusting on this camera, but it's actually really fire. If y'all want that recipe, I can leave the ingredients. Well, I'll just leave the ingredients in the, um, uh, actually no, I don't like doing that. I'll just tell y'all. So I didn't cook it, my grandma did, but basically you will make it, the macaroni pasta, just says you will make any macaroni pasta if it was macaroni and cheese or just regular, you know, let me see what that she puts mayonnaise, um, tuna. Basically, like if you were make if you were to make tuna and like mix it in with uh, macaroni pasta or whatever and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna eat for lunch today, along with my watermelon snack. And I have more snacks at work. It's just in the fridge at work. So yeah, now we're just waiting on this coffee, and I'm gonna have a banana. Also, my food. Have a little banana. So we're just waiting on that. So this is the finished product. Oh yeah, by the way, um, if y'all wanna see what creamer I use, I guess I should show y'all right now. It takes two seconds. So this is the creamer that I use. Um, International Delight. I like hazelnut and um, vanilla. It's low in calories. It's like 35 calories for a tablespoon. So I don't be worried about that. So yeah, now I'm gonna eat. great source of protein mm. a little season okay guys so for dinner, I am going to have the best thing that is out here. Frito. So it's basically like a sushi burrito to me. I never get the bowl. I never tried the bowl. The burrito has just been so freaking good that I just, I keep eating it. I also got this strawberry guava drink. How many calories does this have? This only has 140 calories. The burrito itself, probably the calories in it can run like... I say like a good 700 800 it's a meal it's a whole meal depending on what you get but basically what this is it's full of raw fish so I like to get the salmon um, I got red cabbage cucumbers crab salad um, it you can you have the choice of white rice or brown rice I got white rice and um, I know I should probably got I should have probably got brown rice but I'm a work in progress, okay? I'm not perfect. But I'm about to eat this in here and watch some watch some YouTube videos. I like to watch YouTube videos while I'm eating. Do y'all do the same thing? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I like to. Especially like mukbangs. Like I like watching other people eat while I'm eating too. But I'm not I'm not gonna watch anybody's stuff if I can't eat. I don't know. It's, unless they're talking about something interesting. But um yeah. I'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so, I'm recording on my phone right now, so sorry that you have to see my dusty wheel. But, 
this is what it looks like some people would be like oh that look nasty some people be like mm, i'm about to go there this is what it looks like you guys it's so good especially when when i have this um guava drink mm, mm, mm. 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 now for those of you okay let me rewind when i was i'm not trying to lose weight anymore but when i was losing weight i would eat home cooked meals like i never ate any outside food this looks weird when I was losing weight, I never ate anything outside of the house. Like, everything was home cooked. Um, when I was losing weight, I did still eat meat. Um, so, a typical meal for me for dinner would be like some grilled or baked chicken with any type of vegetable. I like broccoli. I don't, I'm not really picky on vegetables, so it would really be any vegetable except for peas or asparagus. I just, I can't do those two. But yeah, so I basically would have like some meat, a protein, um, some vegetables, and some carbohydrates. So as for carbs, I do like maybe a baked potato, mashed potatoes, rice, anything like just home cooked. And I did count my calories. I still count my calories because I don't want to be overeating, you know, get too comfortable. So I still count them most times. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for like a recipe or something, I would like you don't have to be the most creative person or a chef to have a nutritious dinner. I would say anything that contains protein, vegetables, and a starch, such as potatoes or um, rice, some stuff like that, sweet potatoes. So yeah. You don't gotta be no chef to eat healthy, but if you're on the go and like you legit, you just like you feel like you don't really have time to um, to cook and make your meals. I would suggest like going places where you can see the calories, where they have an online menu, or like the online menu shows you the calories. Like most restaurants, they have that like chilies i think applebee's like all those places and there are always healthier options guys there are always going to be a healthy option it's just up to you if you're going to choose that healthy option me i did not eat out throughout the weekdays because i could not control myself like if i pull up to freaking like if i pull up to um chick-fil-a <laughs> i done dropped my phone if i pull up to chick-fil-a for dinner i am not getting a wrap i am not getting a salad i am getting some chicken i am getting a chicken sandwich that's why i did not eat out during the time frame where i was trying to lose weight i cooked everything at home i made everything at home because i could not control myself but now i have self-control now i have discipline and that's that comes with trusting the process while you are on this journey you have to teach yourself to be disciplined you got to teach yourself the right way to do this if you're disciplined already good but me i wasn't disciplined in that segment of life like i just didn't have the discipline to go to the gym i didn't have the discipline to eat better and so once i started to change my habits and consistently live by these habits these newly habits that i would create like counting calories going to the gym at a certain time you know it becomes second nature like it's just like brushing your teeth like you're gonna do it you have to do it you know so anyways guys i just wanted to give you a little insight a little chit chat because i know you guys are probably looking at this video like okay where's the recipe like why is she eating out well another good idea for dinner versus like besides like just a regular chicken like it doesn't have to always be chicken you can have steak you can have fish you can have whatever like you can have a baked potato but make it like get creative make pizza with different toppings have a salad a tuna salad have a chicken salad shrimp salad pasta you can still have pasta but anyways guys i want to eat my food so that's the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'm going to be making a lot more of these videos because i do want to cook like i do want to show you guys what i cook for lunch and dinner and stuff like i've been showing y'all breakfast but i do want to show y'all like what i really eat like what i can cook you know 
so thank you guys for liking or for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up go subscribe to my channel and make sure you guys check out my workout videos i'm definitely gonna have those coming all the time i have a lot up right now but let me know what you guys want to see next and that's it for this video bye